Now, let's be honest, who doesn't love a good tier list? Whether you're ranking football clubs, children's TV shows, WWE wrestlers, as Pringles flavors, literally anything. Always a conversation starter that can cause a huge debate. And I have seen a lot recently of these tier list ranking football clubs, putting them in what league they believe they should be in. And there's one thing that I've noticed about every single one of them. They're all wrong. So it's about time I sit down, I rank every single team in the EFL, in the National League. I put them in the league they should actually be in based on the club's size, attendances, history, atmosphere, away following, absolutely everything to get to the definitive ranking, the real one, you know, the correct one. Now, I've gone with six different categories. We're going to start at the bottom. That's pub teams. Their team, they shouldn't even be professional. Then you've got the National League, League Two, League One, Championship, Premier League. It's pretty simple. If you don't understand that, then why are you even here? Right, we're starting off with Accrington Stanley. Who are they? They are League Two. I don't want to put them in the National League. I think they are the smallest club or one of the smallest clubs in the Football League. But I'm going to put them League Two. Wimbledon. Uh, league One. I'd say, I'd say League One, pushing championship. I don't think they're big enough to be in the championship. Historically, a team that have won the FA Cup, have been in the Premier League, but League One club for me. And Bournemouth, also League One at best. Bournemouth get about 10k at home, and they've only really been in the Premier League three or four seasons recently. Aldershot, I'm going to put National League. Altrincham, National League. Arsenal, Aston Villa just have to be in the Premier League. Two of the biggest clubs in England. Barnet, because we apparently relegated them in the National League. You go. Barnsley. Now... I think that's kind of a toss between League One and the Championship. I'm going to put them in the Championship for now, but don't be surprised if these like end up in League One. Birmingham, straight in the Championship, the most Championship side ever. I can't believe they're actually not in the Championship next season. And same with Blackburn. I don't care that you've won a Premier League. You've got about 10,000 empty seats at home. Money can buy you trophies, but you're a Championship club. I know I've sat here and said history, but I can't just base off the fact that you won a Premier League once you're a Premier League team. Football was a thing before 1992. So if that's the case, then I'll be putting Bury in the Premier League because they won an FA Cup. Blackpool, I'm going to say Championship. Bolton, Championship. Boreham Wood, National League. Bradford, big club. Very big club. Should not be in League Two. Well, obviously they should be, like, you know, football-wise. But the size of their club should not be in League Two. I'm going to put them in League One. Brentford, League One. As a kid, I hadn't even heard of Brentford. Like, they were a League One or Two club. And Brighton, I'm actually going to say the same. They're clubs that have come up recently due to good recruitment and the fact that they've got a little bit of money now. But these are two clubs that are League One teams. Brighton were playing in a stadium with a racetrack with no roof not too long ago, you know, in my lifetime. Bristol City, if I put them anywhere but the Championship, it would be wrong. So, Championship. Bristol Rovers, I'm going to go League One, Bromley National League. But congratulations on your promotion. Burnley Championship, Burton, I'm going to say League Two. They've got one stand that's got seats in. Cambridge League 2, Cardiff, honestly, for a capital city, Cardiff could be a massive club, but I do think they are championship. Carlisle League 1, Cholton, again, a little bit of a toss between championship and League 1, actually. I'm going to I'm gonna go with championship for now for Cholton. Chelsea in the Premier League, Cheltenham League 2, Chesterfield League 2, Colchester League 2, Coventry Premier, no, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Championship. Let's let's be real here. Obviously, historically, we've won an FA Cup. We played thirty odd seasons in the top division, but we're historically a Championship team now. Let's be honest. The recent history in League Two, League One, ground sharing. I'm going to be neutral here and put us in the Championship. As much as I'd like us to be in the Premier League in a not too distant future, we should have won the FA Cup this year as well. But hey. Championship for me. Crawley, I'm going to go National League. The first of the Football League clubs that have predominantly been Football League a lot recently. But just on club size alone, really, Crawley aren't a huge club. But congratulations on your promotion to the league. Well, they must get so much hate as well. Every single prediction video last season, everyone was topping Crawley to get relegated. Crew, I'm going to go League One. Crystal Palace, Premier League. First club that aren't massive top six that I'm putting in the Premier League. But just off recent history alone, Palace definitely deserve to be in the Prem. Dagenham and Redbridge. I'm going to put them in National League. Derby County Championship for me. I know they had a stint in the Premier League, but they're literally known as the worst ever Premier League team. Doncaster Rovers going to put them in League One. I know they relegated us to League One back in the day, but I don't think they're, you know, big enough to be in the Championship, small enough to be in League Two. I think League One is perfect. Dorking, I'm going to put them in pub. 
But I'm going to be honest, that's genuinely a compliment here. I don't think they're a National League side, so they were punching above their weight. But all credit to Dorkin. Do genuinely hope they come up next season from the National League South. Eastleigh, I'd say they're a National League side. Everton, obviously a Premier League team. Come on, they've never been relegated from the Premier League. Exeter City League 2, FC Halifax Town. Now, they've got a big ground. They're a decent club, but I'm going to put them in the National League. Fleetwood Town. This one, again, one of the smaller clubs in the Football League. I do think there's a couple of teams that could probably edge it into League 2, League 1. Got a bit of a soft spot for Fleetwood as well, but I'm going to put them in the National League. Forest Green, they're a pub team. I don't even want to speak about them. Fulham, don't want to be too controversial, but I'm going to put them in the Premier League. They played predominantly most of their football in recent years in the Premier League. Played in European competitions and they've never really dropped down too much. If they have gone down to the Championship, they've always been up there or thereabouts. So they Premier League for me. Gateshead, I'm going to put them in pub team. They've got a big racetrack around the ground and I'm not a huge fan. By the way, I'm a big fan of Gateshead. I went to Chorley away with them a couple of seasons ago. Their fans were great, but, you know, I don't think they're National League standard. Gillingham, Gillingham, Gillingham. Pfft. Hard hard one, this one, because they've got a stand made of scaffolding. So I'm going to put them in League 2 simply for that. Grimsby Town, League 2, Harrogate National League, Hartlepool. First non-league team creeping into the Football League here. Predominantly a League 2 side, so Hartlepool for me in League 2. Huddersfield League 1. Look, if you're going to cry and say we won the least cup, that cup. Like, literally what I said about Blackburn, don't. I love Huddersfield away. Great fans, great ground, but for me a League 1 club. Hull Championship, Ipswich Championship, Leeds United Premier League. One of the biggest clubs in England. They've been just so unlucky. In the past 10, 20 years on the pitch, stints in League One, bottling the playoffs constantly. Leeds, though, are a Premier League size club, so well supported. They've got fans all over the country. Let's be real. I'm going to put them there and I'm not, I'm not going to comment. Leighton Orient, I would say League Two. A tough one. I've never, I've never been to Leighton Orient, so I actually don't really know. I'd say they're in between League One and League Two. They've got a decent ground. I'd say there's some bigger clubs in League One. Lincoln being one of them. And Liverpool, obviously, a Premier League team. This lot, look, phew, League One, come on. They had a season in the Premier League. They've been pretty successful as of late, getting promoted from League Two to League One, Championship, Premier League. Just a great progression, but I wouldn't put them any higher than League One. Macclesfield are, for some reason, on this list. I would say National League, decent club. They obviously had to reform under Robbie Savage. He's now manager. Visited here when they were in the 92 and they played Port Vale. So it would be nice to actually revisit Macclesfield and see what it's like, because I know they've upgraded the ground a lot. I'd say they're a National League club at best. Maidenhead played them in the FA Cup once. I'd say they're National League. Maidstone also at National League. Another team we played in the FA Cup. Huge respect to Maidstone last season. Manchester City, Premier League. Oh, Man United, Premier League. Right then, Mansfield. I know they've just been promoted to League One, but I'm going to put them in League Two simply because they have bottled promotion to League One every season since like 2016. So they're, they're League Two for me. Borough, I'm putting them in the Championship. Me! Also in the Championship. Milton Keynes, going to put them in pub. In fact, they should probably be in their own category themselves. Morecambe, I'm going to put them in League 2. Newcastle, one of the biggest clubs in the country. Premier League. Newport County, League 2. Norwich in the champ. I don't know, though. Norwich is a tough one because, obviously, they're such a yo-yo club. I'm going to put them in the championship for now. Northampton, I'm going to say League 2. Forest, Premier League. I mean, we're talking about a team that have won two European Cups here. Not Blackburn, who won the Premier League once in, like, 100-odd seasons. One team that have not had European success is Notts County, other than the fact they've got a little bit of a relationship with Juventus. I'm going to put them in League One. Oldham Athletic, I'm going to put them in League One. Obviously, going through some tough times at the moment. Need to visit them as well next year. Oldham in League One. Oxford United, also in League One, recently promoted to the Championship. Look forward to playing them next season. Peterborough, if there was a category in between, they would be here, simply because it's all they've done ever. But I'm going to put them in League One because that's where they're most successful. Plymouth Argyle, I'm going to say Championship. Port Vale, I'm going to go League One. Portsmouth, Championship. Preston, Championship. And QPR, Championship. Reading, Championship. Some of the most Championship clubs there have just been named. 
Rochdale, definitely a League 2, League 1 side. Rotherham, League 1. Salford are a pub team. It annoys me a little bit about Salford, and I'm going to be honest here. There are clubs in Manchester that have really struggled. Rochdale, Oldham, Stockport for a very long time were struggling. And they took over Salford. It's like an investor coming in and taking over Bedford United when Coventry were struggling in League 2. Scunthorpe, another team that have gone through some tough times as of late, I would say, are League 1. Sheffield United, I'm going to... It's a tough one. Now, I've always believed that if there was one team in Sheffield, Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday made this team, they would be as big as maybe a Newcastle and Aston Villa. But I would probably say both Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday are Premier League clubs. Simply based off the history of the clubs, the following. Obviously, Wednesday on the pitch, you know, are not a Premier League club. But for me, I'll put them two up there. In a minute, this might all change. But for now, that's where that's going. Shrewsbury, League One all day long. Solihull Moors, National League. Southend, God, how I miss going to Southend away. What an away day that used to be, League One. Southampton, going to put them in the Premier League. I know they've had stints in the Championship and League One. But most of their recent football has been up in the Premiership. Stevenage, all respects, League Two for me. Stockport, League One. Stoke championship i know a lot of people loved their premier league stint but come on they are a championship club i wouldn't say they're in that top 20 category sunderland premier league as empty as their stadium is and as much as i hate going to the stadium a lot there's no denying they are a premier league club sutton united national league swansea championship now this is where i'm gonna have to reevaluate. i can fit three more teams in that premier league and then there might be a couple dropping down to league one league two etc so we're gonna put them in the categories and then at the end, I'm going to work it all out. So we know how League One, not Champions League. League One! Torquay United, National League. Tottenham, obviously, in the Prem. Tranmere, League One. Walsall. League Two. I'd, I'd say Walsall, League Two. Watford, Championship for me. Willstone, you're, you're in the National League. West Brom. Now, oh, there again, a little bit like Norwich. It's a yo-yo club. I'm going to put them in the Premier League for now. I don't think you could really have West Brom and Wolves. Okay, for now, I'm going to put West Brom there. West Ham are definitely a Premier League club. Wigan. I know recently they won the FA Cup, but Wigan is a rugby town, man. That is League One all over for me. I don't really want to put them in the Premier League. Wigan have never really had a brilliant following. You know, every time I've been to the DW, even for an FA Cup quarter final, the atmosphere is just dead for that Southampton game. Woking, they are going to go in National League. Wolves, I'm going to put them in the Premier League. Wrexham, I'm going to be 100% honest and just put them in League 1. Wickham, League 1. Yeovil and York, both in League 2. So, this is my initial categories here. So, the Premier League, I've put 21 teams in there. I feel like one of them shouldn't be in the Premier League and should drop down to the Championship. And out of the lot, I'm actually going to go for West Brom. I don't think you can have West Brom and Wolves in the Premier League at the same time. I've put one extra in the Championship, so I am going to relegate Cholton. I know they've played in the Premier League, but I wouldn't say that they should be in this. Barnsley's a good shout, but I think they, out of all the clubs, have played the most in the Championship in their history, so I'm going to keep them there. I've put 28 in League One. There's four clubs that should be taken down. I'm going to do Scunthorpe, Carlisle, Crew, and Wickham. It's hard, hard, very hard to kind of judge. And that is perfect, I believe, for League Two. And in the National League, we've got a couple of football league clubs like Crawley and Fleetwood. These are teams that only tend to bring small followings, haven't got much history in the football league. But huge respect to these clubs punching above their weight. And then we've got Dorking and Gateshead, who I want to give all respect to. The other three can just, yeah, go there. Anyway, that is my final ranking there let me know in the comments which ones you agree if you disagree if you haven't already i'm sure some of you are absolutely raging especially all you wigan fans subscribe to the channel if you're not already thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one